hi welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show you how you can be able to link two computers and be able to transfer through the files in the computer whereby you can be able to transfer the same data from the different computers that you're using before i get into the video remember to subscribe to our channel talk to us about the videos that you want us to do on my pc you can see the first computer that currently i'm using so i need to go under my pc I click on under this PC, then I need to click on the network, the network section. When I click on it, a window pops up and tells me that the network discovery is turned off. Network computers and devices are not visible. Please turn on the network discovery in the network and sharing center. I'll click OK. You can see on top under the, the network tab, you can see the network discovery is turned off. Network computers and devices are not visible. Click to change. So I'll just click on it to change and turn on the network discovery. And you can see the desktop JGH, that's the desktop that I'm using, automatically pops up. That means the network discovery is turned on. So this is the first computer that I'm currently using. So I'll go into the other computer that I'm using that I want to connect. I'll go under the, my PC into the other computer. I need to turn on the network discovery option. For this case, I'll go under the network and sharing center. Just the same process. And I turn on the network discovery. You can see currently it is turned off. I'll turn it on. And then I'll save the changes. After, after I turn on the discovery option, I'll go back into the network and you can see the two desktops that are appearing in my screen. That means the computers are already connected because the first computer is my computer and the second computer is the first computer that I was previously using. So that means that the network sharing has already been merged. You can see the, the computers, I'll go into the first desktop that I was using, they are both linked having linked the computers so the next step is to share the data from the both computers maybe to transfer the data from the first computer into the second computer and vice versa so i'll click on the desktop maybe i want to share my desktop i right click on it and go to the give access option and specify the people that i want to give access to my computer you can see my computer then I'll click OK. After I click OK, it takes me to the local disk C. That is because the desktop is usually under the category of the local disk C. So there you can see my folder of my computer. I right click on that folder under which the computer that I'm using falls in. After I right click, I'll go into the same option, give access to. And I'll specify the people that I want to give access to. So I'll click on the share option. The sharing of items might take minutes, so you need to wait. And there your folder is shared. You can see you can email someone links to these shared items or copy paste the links into another app. I'll click done. That means the file on my computer that I wanted to share, the desktop and the user's folder that I wanted to share to give access to another computer that I had earlier on linked has already been shared. So I'll go into the other computer to see if the file has already been shared. In order to confirm that, I'll go under the network, then click on the computer that I shared the file from. There you can see under the users, you can see the folder that I shared. I'll tap on it. For example, if I want to access the other computer's desktop, I just click on the desktop. You can see the, the desktop of the other computer that I shared the file from. Just to compare, you can see the desktop is similar and are both connected together. The same information is displayed on both computers. I'll create a folder just to confirm that the, the sharing is working. 
I have created a new folder. You can see the new folder is also created on the other desktop. I rename the folder sharing files just to see if the folder will be renamed into the other computer. You can see the folder was renamed in the other computer. This is a clear proof that the computers have been connected together. And that's how you can be able to connect multiple computers. The network sharing option does not necessarily limit. You can connect a number of computers as you want. Now that I have shown you how you can be able to share the files, I'll also show you how you can be able to stop the sharing of the files. So you need to go back into the folder that you had early on shared. I locate it. I had shared the users folder. It was under the category of the local disk C. I'll go back into it. Then I right click the same option, the same process that we had earlier on followed. When I right click on it, you can see the give access to. It is giving me the option of the advanced sharing. I'll click on it. When I tap on it, you can see the advanced sharing. I'll continue. Under the category of the advanced sharing, you can see the pop-up is giving me the option of the share this folder. It is already ticked. So I'll need to uncheck that box. So I'll uncheck it. Then I apply the settings. You can see there is the five files opened by user one connected to users. If you stop sharing users, the file will close and which may cause the users to lose the data. Do you want to continue? I'll click yes. I want to continue. The computer should be disconnected from the sharing. So I'll just refresh. Just to confirm in the other computer that the sharing is stopped. Here you can see the folder has already disappeared. That means the sharing has already been stopped. I'll also show you how you can be able to disable the network sharing option that we had early on turned on. So I'll show you how to turn off. I need to type in the control panel under the settings option. Go under the search on your computer, type in control panel. Then go to the network and sharing center. You can see it is already turned on network discovery. You need to change that option to the network turn off network discovery. I'll turn it off and then I'll save the changes. And when I go into this PC under the network, you can see the network discovery is turned off and that's how you are able to connect multiple computers through the network sharing option. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. If you have any comment or any opinion, you can comment and we'll get back to you. Thank you.